So today, I thought we'd take a little break from going after a Dime Potential Lion, and we're back out here on the Hunter Classic, and today, we're gonna be hunting for some water buffalo with the bow. And well, here's basically how I wanna hunt. We're gonna start at this lodge here, and I wanna work our way around the edge of this river bottom here, probably get to this point, and possibly fast travel to this tent here, work our way around here, and this is a really good area here for some water buffalo. Oh man, could you imagine? Smoked! No, but we can't. So you can't actually take a shot at a goose unless it's broke. If it breaks from the flock and it's coming into the decoys, then you can, but like in Call of the Wild, you can take shots at them while they're flying. And in the Hunter Classic, they have to be broke. Well guys, we just found our first water buffalo and it looks like he's definitely living up to his name because he's swimming in the water. That's a pretty decent one as well. 890 to 1200 kgs. Probably gonna be about a 180, 190s bull. Uh, pretty decent wind. The wind's actually blowing a little bit to the left. So we got kind of a crosswind going on here, but we can definitely work with that. Okay guys, so we just got to about 45 yards away from this water buffalo here. He is quartering pretty much straight away, but I would like to get a little bit more broadside on him. So we're gonna try and slide forward just a little bit more. Now we could go for that, but yeah, like I said, I really wanna get somewhat more of a broadside angle. I could work there. That looked pretty good to me. I think we might be just a little bit high, but he was quartering quite a bit. Let's see how that's gonna do. If we didn't get lung, we definitely got liver. Yes, he's down. Our first water buffalo is down, guys. He just tipped over right there. Oh, so we hit him a little farther back and just a touch high. But then again, we weren't really that high because we were kind of high up on this riverbank here shooting downward. So we had to hold high anyways in order to have a really good exit hole. But he is down. Nonetheless, our first water buffalo is down. All right, guys. So I just got eyes on the Bantang. I'm pretty sure that that's the male. It is the male. We're going to bust out the 300 here. Get ready and go for a shot. <laughs> Tried for heart and I think we got it. Because he's down right there. I don't believe they drop with double lung in the 300. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that must have been heart. So nice little bonus there. We'll be able to go over here and pick up our water buffalo. And then... Wait, where is he? Did he run away? Uh oh. Oh no, he's down. He's behind this hill. So let's pick him up. Our first big water buffalo with a bow. And that was actually a solid hit. 51 yards out, 192 score. We did get a right lung hit on that well, water buffalo. Four minute wound time though. So as you can see, if you don't get double lung, it takes quite a bit for them to go down. Even with the camo pulser, you can imagine if you're using the recurve. <laughs> I was thinking about hunting these guys with the recurve actually, but. Yeah, there's, there's a pretty good reason why I chose not to try and hunt the water buffalo with the recurve. Because you don't get very much penetration on these huge things. As you can see, even with... Oh, that's a really, really cool picture. I really, really like this. Let's go with that. And let's definitely accept it. Uh, he's not quite big enough to get mounted. So we'll take the 55 GMs for that. Yeah, normally if they score anywhere between like 220 and 260, I'll think about get them taxidermized, but anything under like 220s, that's kind of eh, a little bit too small. And here's our Bantang. Let's pick him up and see how we did on him. That was actually a uh, left front leg and double lung. How's he going to... Okay, I think that's a pretty big one. If I'm not mistaken, anything bigger than like 130 is huge. I think like 130 might be my biggest one. So we definitely have to get this guy mounted. Not only that, we're going to get not that much cash for it. But I don't know. I might be wrong. But I'm like 90% sure that that's a pretty big band tank. So either way, we'll definitely get this guy mounted. For sure. Really cool picture of him as well. Well, guys, looks like we just found another water buffalo. That's a medium-sized one as well. And a bunch of, I think, Rusa deers uh, behind him as well. Now, in this case, we have a pretty bad wind. So we need to get some cover spray out. Make sure that we're completely concealed here. Put that right there. 
That should help. He's about to come up on shore. Trying to get a little bit closer. Okay, I can see his horns. Definitely smoked him. Hit a little bit too high of the heart, but I'll take it. That is indeed lung blood, so he will for surely go down. Awesome. Now, let's try and find this buck. Looks like double lung heart shot on him. Took him down. But yeah, that, uh, that water buffalo got a little bit too close for comfort, so... I didn't exactly aim the best, let's just say. A bunch of feral hogs just took off over there. That's interesting. I mean, either way, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. A That's a... Okay. That is a really nice Rusa buck. And I think I hit it in the neck. Oh. Man, I forgot how much fun it is to hunt on here. I haven't been to Pickabean Bay in... Probably like two years, to be honest. Did we get that Rusa buck? I don't know. What I do know, though, is our water buffalo is down right there. So the cool part is our water buffalo is not even too far away from where that really nice Rusa buck should be. So we'll be able to go over here, mark our water buffalo down right there, 155 from us. And I'm pretty sure the Rusa would have been like maybe 50 yards or so past him. But the next question is, how the heck do we get over here to get our other Rusa buck? Um, I know there's some crossings here, but I just, I don't know where they're all at. This looks like this might be one right here, actually. Oh, look at that. I think we got lucky and found one. All right, well, here's our first Rusa buck. And that was a, looks like double lung shot on him at 104 out. He ended up scoring 124.4. I believe they need to be like 160 plus to be a pretty nice one. But I mean, that's not, it's definitely not tiny. All right, guys, here's our water buffalo. Let's take a look at him. That was a neck, shoulder blade, right lung hit at, how far away was that? 20 meters away and it scored 173.8. I just want to take a look at that shot placement right away real quick. I knew I hugged tight to the shoulder blade, but I actually was a little bit too far forward there. I mean, it took him down really quick, but yeah, a little bit too far forward for what could have been an ideal double lung shot. Still a really nice water buffalo and a nice shot, so we will take it. Okay guys, so I've been looking around for about 10 game minutes now, and there's no sign that we hit this Rusa whatsoever, so I'm pretty sure it was a clean miss. All right guys, so we just came up over this next ridge and we found another male water buffalo. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh my god, I think we made a perfect heart shot at less than five meters away. As he was coming at us, I released the trigger, but there was a little delay and... Oh, I'm so thankful he didn't take us out. Look how close he came. Man. I didn't even know he was going to charge. Perfect skull, heart, stomach shot at 1.4 meters away. That's the closest shot I've ever made on a water buffalo. Probably on anything. I don't even know if you could beat that. 1.4 meters away in the skull, heart, and stomach. Anyways, that, that was, uh, wow. Uh, kind of speechless after that. that. That was so intense. Wow. Okay, we'll uh, we'll go with that for now. So I'm pretty sure we just found another huge bantang. I don't know. I can't quite tell, but he looks like he has some really nice horns on him. Uh, how far is that? Looks like it's a pretty good ways out there. Uh, 218. Okay, the 300 should definitely be able to make that happen. Put it right there. 
Attempted for a double lung, considering that's how we took that one down last time, but he's down right there. Okay, let's mark him, try and figure out a way to get over there, and go take a look. By the way, guys, I just checked the leaderboards, and it looks like 165 and above is actually leaderboard. So that 140 is a pretty big Bantang. Depending on how big this one is, we might get another one mounted. Let's find out. That was left lung at 218, 153.2. Definitely my biggest Bantang so far. Not only that, this one has kind of like the cool uh, darkish color to it. Really, really cool looking Bantang. Wow. Very nice shot as well. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a giant. That is a 200 plus water buffalo right behind us. We're trying to take a trophy shot of this Bantang here. And it looks like we're getting interrupted with this giant water buffalo behind us here. I, I don't think I've ever seen a giant water buffalo that big. The worst part is I got to move my guy over, but I can't because then this water buffalo is going to attack us. Not only that, I don't want to make a bad hit on this giant. I mean, I would say that that's like a 210, 215. I don't think it's... I mean, I guess it could be like a 240 plus water buffalo, but... I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. You know, I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. But how are we going to pull like a 360 no scope on this thing? Um, I don't know. But we'll try. No, I don't have enough GMs. Mount it later, maybe. Anyways, we got to worry about something else here. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. Holy. <sighs> Perfect heart shot on this giant water buffalo. 185 minimum score. That might be a 220 bu uh, buffalo right there. It just might be. Perfect heart shot and he's going to score. Oh my god. 248.9. A neck, skull, and heart shot. It's really hard to tell how big these water buffalo are. That's a giant water buffalo that we just took down. <laughs> Holy. And not only that, that's gonna be a pretty intense picture right there. I really do like that. So we gotta get this guy mounted as well. And I mean, I don't even know how we're gonna hunt after this. I think that's gonna have to be it. That's exactly what we wanted right there. I mean, it just happened so fast. Literally five minutes ago, we were 1.4 meters away from one water buffalo that attacked us. And now we were about five meters away from this giant water buffalo that just attacked us. But we got both of them with perfect heart shots and let's head over to the trophy lodge and go take a look. Okay guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. This is almost my biggest water buffalo ever. I did get a 258 scoring one one time, but this one scored 248.9. Definitely the biggest one that I've ever gotten with the Camel Pulsar by far. Um, but then we also got this guy over here, a 153.2 scoring Bantang. I believe this actually might be my biggest Bantang as well. So that was one pretty epic hunt if I do say so myself. And we got this guy, I believe, at less than five meters away with the bow. It just, I mean, sometimes when you go on a hunt, it's just hard to explain what just happened. And the fact that we came over to go pick up this Bantang, and within seconds, we were getting attacked by this guy, turned around, and made a perfect heart shot with the bow and dropped him. It was just epic. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.